Uh, first of all, it's an honor to be presented this. Um, it's also an honor to see so many old friends. Um, don't know what to say. Hmm. Audrey, um, Buddy Kaler, Michelle, I mean, so many old, old dear friends. Uh, I was going to cut up Michelle and call him the Gorf, wherever he is. <laughs> when he first come down to sell a uh, household, and I was going to nickname him Pong. And that, you know, that game where it goes around, well, that was Michelle. I want to race. Where do we go? How do we get there? Where do I want to race? I want to go. How do we get there? We, we, he over revved and we hadn't got out of the garage. <laughs> and that, I mean, as you see, he finally settled down and uh, turned into be a heck of a rider. And that Ronnie Key is sitting there. Uh, stand up, Ron. Just stand up. I mean, see, Ron, Ronnie's be falling to the motocross disease. And uh, uh, all that muscle and tone that he had all went to his mid-drift. So, I, I mean, <laughs> it, it, that had to be motocross disease, Ron. <laughs> but, again, an honor having you here with us, too. We had a lot of good times motocross against each other back in the day. I'll guarantee that. <laughs> and, uh, um, Again, Michelle, Buddy Kaler, wherever Buddy's sitting, um, an old, old family friend. And uh, mom and dad, he raced against my father. And, uh, and it's nice just to see him still here. Um, Audrey, I told her earlier uh, in the presentation where we got our pictures taken, I leaned over and said, remember me? And she looked at me you know, like this, and I said, Doug Sale. I said, I used to change her oil when I was 13 years old at Pool Cycle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and that, um, yeah, she'd be going to Reading or Heightstown or Columbus for the motor maids, and she'd bring the bike into pools, and we'd go through it with a fine tooth comb, making sure she always had a good, safe trip. And, and it's just wonderful to see her again. Uh, we're going to tell some real funny stories, but uh, we got talking to my older brother Jim and so many different guys that are here, Bill and Joe and Frank, and I mean, Jim Gill's here, and, I mean, the guys that drove me to the race out of my hometown of Waterdale are all sitting back there on the table. Um, and too many stories to, to tell on that one. <laughs> And that, uh, there, there's one, we used to have fun, Ron knows, back in the motocross days, and we had Mo Fraser and Jimmy Davey, um, I mean, Jimmy Kelly, Bob Kelly, the whole crew and, and that, but out of all of them, I was talking with Jimmy last night, and we were talking about the old red rig. Remember that? We had a, a red panel truck, no windows, bright engine, uh, engine red, and we had a trailer on the back we called the Chariot. And that, uh, it was huge, it carried about six motorcycles on the back, the toolboxes and everything. We'd all load in it, had the front seat in the, in the rig, and, and the back was a, a mattress off a bed, and we just sat there and played cards all the way to the races and back again. So this is a story I gotta tell, a true story. And that Mo was always an innovator. He's, unfortunately, he's no longer here. I'm, seen these pictures, I'm sure, back on the thing. And that, but before Winnebago's or anything, and that, the, the biggest thing at a racetrack, motocrossing, was you never had enough water. And that, like, didn't matter how many jugs you brought, by the time five or six guys washed, there was never enough water. So Mo, bright idea, he puts a welding tank back in the back, big holding tank, about 50 gallons underneath the bottom, and after about 10 tries of trying to blow the truck up, got the air pressure right, so it, you know everything worked. And that, on the dash, we had a spigot, and that right on the right-hand side, and that, you want a glass of water, it had a Dixie cup dispenser, and away you went. Well, up the front, for after the races, right under the battery, on the old panel trucks, there was about two foot of room, so 
Mo mounts the same cutter there. And that put, puts a little soap rack on the right hand side. And that, you know, it's great. You know, run the water, go up there, you know, towel, wash off, perfect situation. First time we go down to Palmyra, New York, with this in there. So we're in the back after the races and the rest of it, Davey and all of us, and Jimmy's up the front. And if any of you know him, Brother Jim, he's about as dry a humored person as you want, but funny. Uh, he said there, so Jimmy opens up the hood. And that has a towel around his shoulders, tur turns and, and then turns the tap on, water runs out. Well, there's four America guys walking by and they look at this thing, you know, and they talk amongst each other and we're at the back, we're just waiting for something to happen. And that, and that the guy finally, they get, one guy comes up. Well, uh, what's that? And Jim says, well, it's a sink. Well, yeah, we see that, but where do you get the water? The guy is hooked. Jimmy says, well, out of the battery. <laughs> and uh, the, the guy looks at him and goes, out of the battery? You know, and Jim says, well, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll, you know, just turn the tap on, the hose goes up underneath, drains the battery in there. And the guy looks at him like this, and he, you know, he's for about six or seven seconds, he says, well, what, doesn't it hurt? <laughs> and, and, and Jimmy just, you know, and we're in the back killing ourselves, but Jimmy looks at him, well, yeah, bites a little, he says, he sure takes the dirt off. <laughs> you know? But, that, that, that wasn't the final thing. We we're killing ourselves in the back. All right, Davy and Mo and all of us were sitting there. So the so guy looks at him like this, and, and, that, and he says, well, he comes back, and we can't believe this. Well, well doesn't it hurt the battery? <laughs> and, and Jim goes, well, oh, no, you just pour it back in. He says it drains through, and he says when it drains through, it's clean for the next guy to use. <laughs> and that, we're, we're, we can't even move. We're in the back of the truck listening. And that, so finally the American guy turns around, goes back to his buddies, he says, them Canadians are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever wrote a book, I told Frank and, and the guys of, of some of the escapades back then, that's just one. And this was a weekly situation when he traveled with our crew, I'll guarantee you. And that, but uh, all I can say is thank you. Um, I wish I was 18 and doing it all over again. That's <laughs>